first off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Allah Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity, in peace, blessings and healings unto the elect, because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today I want to talk about this. It says, um, youth blood harvesting. Another conspiracy theory vindicated as fact. Okay? And we all know the elites on down to these people that sell out. They do all this stuff with blood. And uh, it's sick, man. People been doing this for a long, long time, man. For a long, long time. It's in the scriptures. And it's in the scriptures on destroying these people that do this, man. It says, um... Heavens to Bessie, the far-right conspiracy theorist prophets are vindicated again. No longer conspiracy theory. Youth blood sucking is official fact because the gatekeeping corporate media now acknowledges it. They got a little uh, picture of an article right here. You know, I'm just going to click on this. It says, youth transplants really can slow the aging process. Harvesting blood and body parts of the young in the hope of achieving immortality has long been a familiar trope in horror movies and conspiracy theories. You know, and it's uh, been uh, these elites do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Bathing blood, eat pineal gland, you know, uh, adrenochrome, whatever, man. You know, this stuff is public now. It says, uh, as macabre as it sounds, science is beginning to discover that youth transplants really can slow down the aging process. You know, that's why a lot of people go go missing every year, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't these, uh, you know, uh, uh, rituals and all this shit. It says the fountain of youth, it seems it's youth itself. Youth transplants is a euphemism for sucking out vital fluids of baby child donors and injecting them into aging recipients. Now, I'm going to play a video, man. Um, I eat uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, okay. Uh, only to ten. Only okay, to ten. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Children is pineapple. Children is pineapple. Can you tell us a secret about Steven Spielberg? He eats babies. Whole babies. Uh, that looks great. Thank you. What you want in a pancake is to have the consistency of young human flesh. It's spongy and has yeah. life to it. You're with a guy with brightly colored undergarments. And you got soft human flesh in front of you. You're in a weird place. I'm looking forward to this. And you're a late 50. Yeah. But somehow you both look the same age there. Mm. I mean, you know, there, there's something <laughs> to be said for being with a younger man. They, I, I, I suck uh, babies blood. <laughs> and put it on my face. <laughs> okay. Just okay. joking. Second sick, man. These people have to go you know what i'm saying it just is what it is you know um i wanted to uh, show something too you know kylie jenner you know kim said she would uh put blood all over you know you can look that up yourself kylie jenner her sister or whatever probably a trainee or something but you know as you can see here she putting blood all over herself so they be doing this shit man you know this is public with these sellouts but you know at least they do it behind closed doors it says in 2019 a U.S. startup called Ambrosia that was offering teenage blood plasma to Silicon Valley billionaires for 8000 A leader was forced to shut down. Where do you suppose these teenage blood plasma was sourced from? The wealthy children of D.C. elites or some poor farmer's daughter in Guatemalan village or the Compton streets or some Appalachian township? You know, that's why a lot of people go um, missing every year. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know it, you're blind, man. And how about some shot made you blind, you know? We really fighting against darkness in high places, man. That's why you got to be on your P's and Q's at all times, man. That's why you got to pray for protection. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're, we're in a fucked up world, man. It says, um, for we... F for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. These people worship Satan, man, and they be fucking with blood, man. And it just is what it is. So, you know, I don't really need to read no more. 
a brother um, sent me this article and subscriptions popped up in my head. So let's get straight to it. Wisdom of Solomon, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12, verse 3. It says, For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of the old land. You know, Israel took down Canaan, you know, um, after they got out of Egypt. You know, and Canaan was doing all these worshiping idols, sacrificing their kids, everything that the so-called white man is doing behind closed doors now. They got that from uh, uh, Canaan, man, the Canaanites, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, um, for thou hatest for doing the most odious works of witchcrafts and wicked sacrifices. That's what these people do, man. It says, and also those merciless murderers of children and devourers of man's flesh and the feast of blood with their priest out of the midst of their idolatrous crew. You know, what, what do they call it? The kids today, the Illuminati. It says, and the parents that killed with their own hands, souls desolate of help. You know what I'm saying? So these people have taken, you know, what the Canaanites did and they just remixed it for today. And now wickedness is at an all time super fucking high, man. Point blank period. And everybody knows that they do this, man. Okay, everybody knows that they do this behind closed doors, you know, and um, I want to read Wisdom of Solomon chapter um, 14, okay, and uh, I'm going to start from 23, it says, um, for whilst I slew their children in sacrifices, or used secret ceremonies, or made rebellions of strange rites, they keep neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled, but either one slew another traitorously, or grieved him by adultery, so that there reigned in all men without exception blood, manslaughter, theft, and dismutilation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls. That's what these people do, man, defiling of souls, man. Changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanliness, for the worshiping of idols, not to be named is the beginning, the cause and the end of all evil, man. Point blank period, man. These people are super evil, man. I want to get some scriptures, and you know what I'm saying? This is Ezekiel 35 and 6. And if you look at who it's talking about, you know, let me get this in the blue letter. This is Ezekiel 35. It says, prophecy against Mount Seir. You know, and let me get some pictures because... You know, we can we can figure out who, why, why it says that. You know what I'm saying? Mount Seir, Edomite kingdoms. Mount Seir, look at the buildings. Greece, Rome, Spain, France, Germany, Russia, Great Britain, the United States. So-called white man. He saw Edom, man. Now they rule the world. Now they do all these, you know, evil things that the Canaanites was doing. The Egyptians was doing. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. They're the new, they're the new pharaohs, man. Okay? It says, um, I'm going to just read from the top. It says, Moreover, the word of Yahweh Shemeshach came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh Shemeshach, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. This is talking about in the last days. I will lay thy cities waste. That's what's happening right now. And thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. And today, man, these, these people are kidnapping, kidnapping our people and doing all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? They be shedding the blood of our people, man. They've been doing it ever since. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh Shemeshah, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. And since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You know, you can go read the rest of this, but it's just talking about destroying them outright, man. You know, this is uh, Numbers 35 and 33. It says, So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, 
for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. This is what the whole second coming is about. And how is y'all coming back? Okay? And eye for eye, man. Blood for blood, man. You know, a lot of people think uh, so-called Jesus, his name is Yahusha, they think he's coming back to bring peace. He's coming back for war, man. War. Because y'all took down his people. And y'all just y'all y'all know what they're doing in, uh, behind closed doors? Yahusha knows that, man. He's furious. Point blank period. This is Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey depart not. You know, Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that built up a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. And that's what these people did, man. They established a city with blood. They, America, this is full of blood, man. You know what I'm saying? And, um, just like Abel, man, when Cain killed Abel, his blood was crying out, man. His blood was crying out. Just imagine all the blood that these people have spilled over over the years. How much our people are crying out to Yahweh man. And he's gonna he's gonna pay that uh he's gonna pay it in full and double it. Okay. So you know, I just wanted to talk about this because Hey man, this has to stop. These people have to be put down, man. These people are evil, you know, beyond uh, what you think, man. It gets even more wickeder than you ever thought. So, yeah, how about some is gonna take them down, man? That's what the whole second coming is about to get these people out the way, and so the earth can flourish, the people can flourish, okay? And it, it can be run how it's supposed to be run, and just not uh, you coming up with some wicked thing in your mind and doing it man you know what i'm saying the earth is going to be run by the law statutes and commandments where your house are ruling man and that's what this place needs because this place is just full of darkness lies you know just like it says man just a bunch of weirdo shit so hey man repent you know what i'm saying um ask you how about some shot to protect you from these people you know david prayed for that man you know what i'm saying he prayed that uh he be protected from the secret counsel of the wicked, you know, because like it said, you know, we, we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against, you know, things in uh, darkness in high places, you know, so that's what we need protection from. And we come into the end, so they're going to turn up in the end. OK, so double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth and call Halal Yahweh Shem and Shabbat Shem